Howdy folks, welcome back to another video. What I wanted to do today is point out the difference in advertising over the years. So I've got two, or I've got four ads. I've got two for Duncan and two for Domino's. And I want to see if anybody can notice the difference in tone, in nature, and presentation in advertising. We have a really popular ad campaign from Duncan from back in the 1980s featuring Fred the Baker. This is a very popular one. My dad remembers this one very well. I was born in 92, so I wasn't alive at the height of these ads. But let's start, and I want to see if you guys can tell the difference. Then I'll show you a modern Duncan ad, and I'll be transparent in saying I don't like the modern ad. But we'll get there when we get there. So let's watch. Time to make the donuts. Dunkin' Donuts are always fresh. I made the donuts. We make them at least twice every day. Time to make the donuts. Not a few kinds, like supermarket. Made the donuts. Time to make the donuts. But up to 52 varieties. The donuts. <laughs> Time to make the donuts. I made the donuts. Dunkin' Donuts, up to 52 <laughs> varieties, fresh day and night. No supermarket can say. Wow. I know it's not the best audio quality, so I hope everybody was able to hear that, but that was very charming. And it was just them extolling the virtues of, because back in the day, Dunkin' used to, a lot of the Dunkin' locations, I don't know if everyone, but a lot of them had, they had bakeries, and they would bake their donuts on site. Uh, a couple of the ones that I grew up with actually did have their own bakeries. I don't know if they still do. I think a lot of them have bakeries set apart, and they just kind of, you know, it's whatever. And I understand it gets expensive. It's not easy to do, but... It was just extolling a virtue that you would always get fresh donuts as opposed to the grocery store, which just got them off a truck. So, I mean, there you go. So, let's look at one of today's Duncan ads, because it's called Duncan now. Ugh. We didn't used to call it Duncan. We called it Double D back in the day. All right. This one's called Do Your Thing. Now, I hope this isn't copyright, because I, I don't want to get in trouble for copyrighted. All right, so now that we've suffered through that, and, and look, you may have liked that. I didn't. I didn't like that at all. And I will tell you why. The reason I didn't like this ad was because I will give them an A for simplicity, but it's too simple. These people are in a void. They've got what is clearly the boom guy getting in on the action here. They're like, oh, isn't it fun to just dance around and shake your drink? Do people do this in real life? No, they don't. What is the point of this other than saying they have a bunch of iced drinks? You could have just shown the iced drinks with a nice undertone of nice calming music. But no, you had to make it into a thing about people getting more excited about Duncan than they normally would. Whereas with this... You've got, a, you've got an average Joe who's going back and forth to his job, but he's satisfied at the end of the day. The joke is more or less the weather that he has to deal with and the fact that he gets so caught up in his routine he forgets what he's doing. It's very charming. Listen to the music on this. Are always fresh. I made the donuts. We make them a nice and subdued, but yet there's still comedic undertones. It's just a nice, relaxing, calm commercial. Okay, here's the next examples. Do you notice the difference already? That's the key. Is do you notice the difference already? All right, let's go to Domino's. So we've got Domino's Heat Wave television commercial from 1999. And now, here is an example, I think, of both an old commercial and a modern commercial doing it right. It's the oven torch. Think of the tips. Run, pizza boy! Everybody in the pizza business is looking for a way to deliver oven fresh pizza. Domino's has a better idea. <laughs> the Domino's Heat Wave. It's like a portable oven for the best tasting Domino's ever. Get two medium, two topping pizzas and a two liter bottle of Coke for $13.99. All right, very good. Very good. Very funny. A lot of effort was put into that. A lot of time spent into 
presenting that's domino's mo is they're always trying to innovate in some way when it comes to delivery they've got those new delivery vehicles they've got their app they're very big on delivery their whole business model is based on efficient delivery and efficient and good tasting pizza very good now we have the right now domino's ad which is an ad that i've seen several times and i actually i actually do like it i like it a lot so let's start from the beginning here and look i think this is consistent freak out but you can get 50 percent off all menu price domino's pizzas when you order online right now right now right now right now right now right now 50 percent off honey right now now through the end of the week get 50 percent off all menu price pizzas when you order online at domino's that's great that's great i like that again You've got more subdued music. You've got realistic scenarios. Yeah, really, nobody's going to get that excited over Domino's, but it's it's the idea that people are trying to save money. They have people doing average Joe things. It feels a whole lot better as opposed to the ad with Duncan where everybody's standing around dancing and they've got more obnoxious styled music. This is more, the music fits the theme better. It's better. It's a lot more consistent between the two but with all four of these ads my point is this advertising has absolutely changed it has absolutely changed there is no question now of course the two domino's ads are more consistent with each other domino's i think their advertising as a whole has stayed consistent i think they've probably used the same ad agency since the 90s it's it's likely i don't know beyond a shadow of a doubt but there's definitely a better feel to all of this. Whereas you go from Dunkin' Donuts to 1984 to now, which is 40 some years, and there's a massive, massive difference. You've got a character in Fred the Baker. He's kind of an everyman. He's a little, he's a little bit droopy esque, but he's relatable. He just does his job. He comes home, but he's cheery about it. He loves what he does. It's just what he does has a bunch of challenges versus a bunch of, you know, seeming hipster millennials all dancing with their with their fruit drinks i mean it's just I, and i have it muted again but you're, you're paying people to dance with coffee what is the appeal of this just show the coffee this isn't that exciting this isn't that exciting yeah, just show the coffee. Just have this as a splash screen. Talk about whatever values you have and have nice, subdued music. And people can tolerate that. But this whole, you know, watch me do my shake, shake. No. Stop that. That's obnoxious. People don't like that. Those are the types of advertisements that make people want to use ad blockers. Because it's obnoxious. But yet, this is one of the more recent ones that they've done. It's dumb. And then now they're doing a whole bunch with celebrities. A whole bunch with these different celebrities, Ben Affleck and Ice Spice. I don't even know what the... I have no idea. I have no idea, nor do I care. Why are you using celebrities? To sell? I know why they're doing this, because Ben Affleck is from New England. For those who don't know, Duncan is New England's Tim Hortons. It is a staple of New England, and it's it's finally spreading to other states. You know, started spreading into New York. Now it's where I live in Pennsylvania, and it's, it's going further throughout. So... It's become more of a staple in those places, but it is a a New England foundational staple. That's what it is, and that's what it always will be. New Englanders consume Dunkin' more than any other area in the United States. I guarantee it. We grew up on the stuff. So, my whole point with that whole aside, advertising has changed. I do not think that advertising is better today, although there are some ad agencies doing it right. This right now ad was good. It was well balanced, and that's not easy to do. We need more ads like this. We need more ad agencies that recognize the old-fashioned way of doing things and presenting them in a really good way. And just to finish this off and to just drive the point home, let's see if we can find another Domino's commercial that just is really nice. All right, what about this one? This is another heat wave commercial. Yeah, 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 yeah. better way to deliver oven fresh pizza 
The Domino's Heat Wave, <laughs> the bag that works like a portable oven for the best tasting Domino's ever. Domino's delivering a million smiles a day. Get a large pizza with all your favorite toppings plus an order of cheesy bread for $13.99. That's a large pizza with your favorite toppings and cheese. That's old school cheesy bread. Cheesy bread for only $13.99. Call Domino's now. Great. Love it. Absolutely love it. Very consistent. Really pushing the heat wave bag thing, but that that's fine. It's just, it's nice. It's subdued. The music is nice and subdued, but there's also comedic undertones. Everything is paced out well. It's not just boom, 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 boom jokes. It's got good timing, good pacing, and then it goes from all the comedic stuff to a nice, relaxed, subdued family setting where they're just enjoying the pizza, and then they transition from that to just talking about the different values and actually showcasing the quality of the food and what it is that you get. They showcase, they, they show, they don't tell. Very, very nice. Very good advertisement. I really like it. So, do you notice the difference yet? Do you notice the difference? I might have to do some more examples if you don't. I mean, I could I could easily go with some other examples, but the problem is a lot of them today use copyrighted material, so I have to be really careful with that. But this stuff is... The old ads are the way it's done. The old ads are the way it's done. There's a handful of new ads that are doing it this way, but the old ads are the way to do it. Absolutely. So, I hope you notice the difference. And I want you to let me know down in the comments below, which ads do you prefer? Do you prefer the Dunkin' Shake or Fred the Baker? Do you prefer the Heat Wave or do you prefer Right Now? And like I said, I don't think Right Now is bad. I think Right Now is fine. I think it's consistent with what you used to get. It's the sim same style of comedy. The timing is actually more classical than it is modern. It's not trying to rush through the jokes. They're well-timed. They're well-paced out. I think it's okay. I think it's a step in the absolute right direction. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Super Koopa TV. I will see you guys later. God bless. Have a good one. Peace.